Aloha, I'm Wendy Osher, and today we're joined by Joseph Soul, a Makakilo man originally from the remote town of Hana, Maui, who has secured a spot on the popular NBC television singing competition, The Voice. Hi, Joseph. How's it going? Good morning, Wendy. How are you? Great. Tell us, um, a lot's been happening this past week. Give us a rundown. Yeah, the last uh, 72 hours or so has been just overwhelming. Um, the outpouring of support that I've received from the state of Hawaii and abroad, like it's just been incredible. Um, so thank you guys so much if you're watching, but yeah, it's just been insane. <laughs> Monday night's um, episode had a blind audition. Um, tell us about that whole setup and how you picked your your teacher or guidance my coach yeah I um it, you know it was, it was a pretty pretty intense uh experience really um I play music for a living I have for many years I've been on big stages I've played like the major rages um played with comic kings a bunch of bands toured and stuff thought that that would have prepared me for this moment but it really didn't <laughs> maybe it prepared me as an artist but not necessarily in terms of what I would be experiencing in, in terms of adrenaline, nerves, and stuff like that, it, it was just a surreal experience. But um, yeah, getting Kelly and Blake to turn like that at the end was was pretty crazy. I thought I was going home. <laughs> and um, at the very end in my falsetto, there's like a little pause, and it's because they turn around and I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> so I had to like regather myself and finish the song. But um, yeah, it was pretty intense. And Kelly has been my number one choice for so long. I've actually been a fan of her since. Um, she was on another show and one <laughs> as an artist but um but yeah so i when she turned for me i pretty much there was nothing blake could have said that would have swayed me <laughs> awesome so you chose bob marley's is this love but you did it quite in your own style what what type of um music are you used to playing or what style is fits your voice <laughs> mm -hmm. i i'm a uh, it's hard. I, I don't necessarily play one style of music, and that's kind of been an issue for me my whole career. But um, I would say my vocal style is more of like an R&B style. Um, and musically, I'm influenced from reggae to jazz, R&B, soul, hip hop, EDM even, uh, country music. So it's just kind of tough to to find that balance of, um, of what I like to do. But doing a reggae song as like a soul R&B, um, song i guess would probably sum it up the best was okay. taking a regular song and doing it r b <laughs> awesome tell us about your name um so you went through a name change to fit your artistry but um a lot of people are familiar with the malaikini name your last name and ha hail you were born <laughs> to be famous <laughs> tell us about your name <laughs> you know i i guess so my name is josal keoni ha heo kalani malaikini um and I'm very proud to wear that name. Uh, my first name is Joe Sol, J-O-E-S-O-L. And so people have been calling me Joe Sol my whole life. Um, and being that I'm, I sing soul music and I'm, I guess I'm a soulful singer, uh, Joseph Sol just kind of fit that kind of artist name that rolls off your tongue, isn't hard to say, um, but it's also me. It's not like I changed my name to like Peter something, you know, it's, 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 it's actually me. So. That was pretty cool, but for many years I was known by DJ Odyssey and I produced music, DJed all over, played with other bands and stuff like that, released my own album. Um, but when I released my album as DJ Odyssey, people thought I was DJing, not performing live. And so it was really tough to separate those two because I would DJ on Thursday, I would sing on Friday, I would DJ on Saturday and sing on Sunday. And so it's kind of hard to figure out, okay, are we gonna listen to him sing or are we gonna DJ? <laughs> you know, it's, um, and so I decided to kind of separate you know, the two, I don't want to call them entities because I'm just a person, but like the two things that I love to do um, so that people could, if they did like my singing, but didn't care for my DJing or vice versa, they could at least be able to decide what they wanted to, if they wanted to consume any of my content, I guess. Great. <laughs> Tell us about your grandfather and a lot of your inspiration comes from him, also a musician. Tell us a little about, yeah. about your family. My grandfather was um, Tiny Malaikini um, from Hana. He owned Tiny's Tours and he played with um, like Uncle Willie Kay's dad and and a lot of people on Maui. Um, I believe their, bands, their band was called uh, Hana Sons or I think it was Hana Sons. Hana's Own? 
but it was with him and uh, like Danny Estacado and stuff. And, and um, they would play at the hotel and all over. And my grandpa was just this amazing man, full of joy all the time, greeting everybody with a big smile. Um, and I only got to know him for five years of my life. He passed away when I was five. And, but I have so many vivid memories of him and with him. And I always grew up seeing pictures of him playing music and hearing about, um, I know you're from, uh, you're familiar with him too, but hearing him called Uncle Oganda, like, like, oh, your grandpa this and your grandpa that, it literally, it was kind of like Coco in a sense, I guess, you know, I didn't have a, like a really direct connection, especially not, he's never heard me play music, he's never heard me sing, so, um, but I just always felt the connection to him and, and wanted to kind of continue his legacy, and he, he did play Hawaiian music, but he was more into like blues and jazz. And, and that's kind of where I fall. I, I, I do love Hawaiian music. I, I play a little bit of Hawaiian music, but my passion is, I guess, in R&B and soul and reggae and stuff. Well, you come from a great legacy. Um, where, where are you off to next? When are you going to appear again on the show? And tell us what your song choice might be, if you can. I don't know if you can. <laughs> I know there's um, a lot of secrecy around. Yeah, no, I, I definitely, it's, um, I can't really divulge too much information, but what I will say is the blind auditions end on November 2nd and the battle rounds follow. So right after November 2nd, um, I believe it's two weeks of battle rounds. And so that'll be the next performance um, that you see from me on the show. Currently, I'm, I'm at home in Makakilo enjoying the sun and eating some poke and getting some golf in and stuff. But uh We'll see if I get to go back, that'll be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I can't, I can't really say too much about what's, what's to come in the next round. You guys just gotta keep watching. Awesome, best of luck to you. All of Hana, all of Maui, all of Hawaii is behind you. I'm so thankful. Thank you so much, Wendy. I really appreciate everything. If you want to find out more about Joseph Soul, visit our website at MauiNile.com. We'll have the latest updates and we'll be following him along with the rest of Maui and Hawaii. For Maui Now, I'm Wendy Osher.